Watch and listen to them practice and you've experienced it before. A small band that likes to jam. But when you begin to trace the mission, you realize there is so much more. See, these kids are focused on a special performance. That's where the name Harmony Bridge originates. They want to bridge their generation to the next. It started with my band, the Dallas Brass. It tours nationally and we played at Carnegie Hall and the Kennedy Center. And, but on this day, we were in Tripp, South Dakota. Smallest town we've ever played. And it was a, a great night. But after the concert, there was a reception. And they mentioned that there was a lady in Tripp who was also a huge Twins fan, and I didn't think much of it until they told me that this lady, Irma Walker, was 107 years old. So at one point I got out my trombone and I played the Twins song. A nurse comes in the room and says, you guys should go out in the hallway and see what's going on out there. We walk out in the hallway and it's a traffic jam with wheelchairs. I mean, it's, it, it was unbelievable, bumper to bumper. People had heard the music and they just wheeled themselves out to try to get as close as they could. And this was the moment that changed my life because I saw, it was like watching flowers blossom in front of my eyes. I mean, their eyes got big and their lips were moving and fingers tapping and bodies swaying and I could just feel the energy of the music doing what music's supposed to do. What has evolved has become more than making music. It's about making the elderly feel good, about a younger generation, but it's also about life. So Harmony Bridge is about going out regularly, monthly, or even more often to just continue to bring not only music again, but to connect children and, and, and elderly folks. Uh, Mr. Levine has set up a really great system with Harmony Bridge, and it's not just music, but it's music, and it's showmanship, and then it's that social interaction piece afterwards. And I think seventh graders really dig it. They really get into it. They can play the music well, but then they can also start working on their showmanship piece. Yeah and then as well as that interaction, that social piece afterwards, uh, which they love doing. It's really amazing. It's fun and it's nothing like actual, like regular band during school. You get to play with a small group of people and you get to go to performances, like not just once a year, but like once every month or every two months. To see the students get up there and shine and flex some muscles and knowing full well that these are real muscles they're going to use in life. How to communicate, how to organize a group, how to plan, what if I forgot my music stand, how do I deal with that? And then to watch how that impacts uh, live audience members and talking to them afterwards and connecting. It just makes the whole thing very real, very real for what music means and what it does. And these young people are able to add a valuable course on life's condition and put it on their resume. I always try and light up their days. I mean, because I know that they they might not be feeling the best or like in the best situation at that time. So I mean, just try and make them have some positives and tell them about myself, listen to what they have to say, like ask them if they ever played an instrument or if they, they what song they like the best. It is here the two opposite sides connect. It is here they are reminded of what mortality looks like. And it is here they make an impact for all the right reasons. So everything is opening up and today I felt emotionally uplifted. Music and the kids, everybody was great. And the warmth was in the room. And when we all sang at the end, little tears. <laughs> it was lovely, wonderful. See, you cannot begin to understand what it means to the residents to have something to look forward to. But you can see it on their faces, and you can feel it in their souls. In the end, they're making the connection that they're learning compassion for seniors or people in the community, but also people in the community are learning and connecting with the young people, and there's, there's a building of understanding that happens. I've seen so many benefits on so many levels. I'm a nurse, and so I understand the elderly population pretty well, and I care for them. And the first concert we went to, I saw those residents light up. You are reminded that this is the way it's supposed to be. When it all comes full circle, and you see that the youth does indeed get it, that's part of the magic. In attending these performances, to, to just watch the joy both in the children, performers, as well as the residents of these senior facilities. It just, it's one of those things that just brings joy to your heart as a Rotarian and, as, like I said, as a parent too. Playing music is great, sharing it is the ultimate. 
when you can share and bring joy to other people. And, and when you find a fifth grader who can barely get through a whole scale, and they can go out there and play some songs for people and, and have them see the joy. One kid once said, when we first got there, everyone looked so sad. And by the time we left, everyone was really happy. And it was such a simple uh, explanation of what had just happened. Separated by years to be sure, but bonded by music and energy and personality. For Harmony Bridge, that is the greatest hit of all. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime.